Yes, I'm recording using this little microphone. Hello, everybody. This is Phil Shadavere. Day 6,000 of our quarantine. Um, actually, not. I think this is video number six. And I'm going to tell you a story about a word that we hear a lot. The history of that word. Um, by the way, this video is um, virus-free. There is no uh, coronavirus of any type or COVID-19, whatever in there. No, I've screened it, cleaned it, steamed it, baked it, and it's clean. I've washed it, washed my whole phone in, in soap. <clears throat> okay, in the year 1541, now we're in 2020, so that's what, uh, 500 years ago? 1541, it would be 2041? Whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm not thinking very clearly. Let's say 500 years ago. In, that, in about that year, 1541, um, the Spanish explorer Francisco de Oriana was creeping up this big river uh, in what we call now South America. And he was determined, he and his men were determined to find the source of this uh, freshwater river. And it was hard going. The men had suffered months of, of Really, well, how can you put it? You come from Spain and you're living in the swamp. On river, you're living on snakes and you're eating whatever you can find. It was very disconcerting. These were tough guys. And they slugged their way up this river. Now, of course, they were they had the some some armor, so they were able to defeat the tribes as they went up. They would they would talk to them or they would fight them and they would back off. <clears throat> that is. After months of walking up this river, they ran into something that basically stopped them in their tracks. This little buzz saw of a tribe that said, no, we don't think so. They fought these, these people were ferocious. And they fought them to a standstill. And from the dead bodies of the warriors that they, that they found afterwards, they found a lot of them. Their women were fighting right alongside of them, and their women were just as, as good fighters as the men. Whew, this was tough. After discussing it with his men, he decided that they would let somebody else discover the source of the river. They had enough information. They think they would just turn around and go home. But in honor of this fierce tribe, they renamed the river from, um, I think it was called the Rio Santa Maria de la Mar Luce, which means the sweet water holy mary river to the amazon river that's why it's called the amazon river now um <clears throat> what is the name francisco named him that because he knew his greek history two thousand years before him a greek historian herodotus had traveled around the uh, mediterranean and recorded the cultures of the different people uh, the Egyptians, the Syrians, the, uh, the other Greeks, uh, strange cultures. And one of the cultures that he wrote about was a tribe of, of women warriors in uh, current, I think it's Syria, let me see, um, Scythia was at the time, Ma no nowadays it's Assyria. And they were called the Amazons, <clears throat> from Amazonos ah, means without a breast. The legend or what he reported was that they would remove their breasts so that they could draw their bow more efficiently take that for what it's worth but he wrote it down in, in his history ah mazon means without a breast fierce warriors they didn't tolerate men well they tolerated men as slaves uh, <laughs> that was it and they allowed them to be to do what they did best which was fighting and and defending their territory which by the way it was a real try, and they actually did defend their territory for many years. Anyway, uh, so the Amazons did exist, and Francisco knew the story because he was educated, and he used this legend, this story, to name the Amazon River. That's why we call it that today. Now, one more step. When Jeff Bezos, I think he founded the Amazon Book Company, I forget. I don't know when he founded it. I guess I should have done my research, but I didn't. Um, he was looking around for a name. He wanted something that was exotic and strange. And what he thought of was the Amazon River. Yeah, that's what he wanted. And of course, it was also the largest river 
in the world, and he wanted his company to be the largest um, retailer in the world. Now, you we use this word, and it's the history that you use goes back many years. Um, Herodotus wrote about this this legend. Um, uh, Francisco picked it up and used this legend. Um, to name the river, and we use it today to call the company Amazon, who used that word. So our words are constantly changing. That's it's long.